Hello and welcome back to Vortex Productions, and today I'm going to be recreating Studio Ghibli movies out of LEGO. So for number one, we're starting out with what I think could be the most iconic Studio Ghibli movie. I mean, it's literally like the cover of their like brand and everything. Keep in mind, I said iconic. We'll get into the Academy Award winners later. Number one, we have to get Totoro and his like little friends, and I'm pretty sure they live in the forest, so let's go. There must be somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. Now that we have our Totoro minifig, I decided to build the iconic bus stop scene. And wow, Totoro is kind of creepy in this. Look at look look at that face. Uh, <laughs> anyways, let's get to some building. Pretty much how I made this mock was I got a little like slab of like cobbled e uh, bricks, and then I put down a little section of foliage that I made, and then added a little bus stop sign and some trees, which were pretty easy to make. And then I added Totoro and some cute minifigures of Mei and Suzuki. Okay, now it's time for one of my favorites, Howl's Moving Castle, which everyone loves just because of the one scene where Howl's cooking eggs. So last year I actually did make a Howl's Moving Castle mock and I kept it together just because I really liked it, so I'm thinking I show it off again. So there are a lot of details on this mock, like that the little houses on the side that are represented using headlight bricks, and also these back chimneys which I used a bunch of tube pieces to make and I just really like how it turned out. And also these turret cannon things which I used a snot technique so I could build on all sides and make it look a little bit more round. Okay, so now it's time for another favorite of mine, Princess Monoke, featuring my guy Ashitaka, the Sigma Diplomat. I got that from a video essay thumbnail from Pilgrim Pass, um, you should go check that video out. I'm gonna be building this scene where Ashitaka's riding his goat horse deer through the forest, so uh, let's build. So, how did I do? I really like how the mock turned out and it's my favorite build I've done so far for this video, mainly for the foliage. And you know I had to use a Dan the Fan tutorial for that tree. Now it's time for everybody's favorite Studio Ghibli movie, Spirited Away. It won an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature and it's just overall really creative and like good movie. I'm gonna be building what I think is the most iconic moment from it, which is the train scene. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so that's the mock. It was a little bit hard to build no face in this scale, and he's even missing a piece, but overall, it's pretty good, and I think it captures this scene. For this last Studio Ghibli movie, I'm gonna be building something from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, and I'm gonna try to end this on like a small little build, so I'm gonna be building her glider. I started off with making the body of the glider using a bunch of white pieces, and then I added two wings, mostly made up of bricks and plates. Then I also added two clips so that I could attach Nausicaa's rifle and hammer. So I hope these uh, I hope these five Studio Ghibli mocks are able to pay a pretty good tribute to 
a studio and just collective of movies that I really like. Obviously, I haven't gotten every single Studio Ghibli movie, so if you guys want a part two, if I missed your favorite movie, uh, let me know down below. I actually, uh, I missed Porco Rosso. Yeah, maybe I gotta do that in the next video, so. How about this? If this video gets 600 likes and enough people like comment what vid what movie they want me to make, I will make a part two. Anyways, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you on the flip flop. Goodbye. Oh wait, wait and also, this Todor song, it's pretty good.